Hey guys, Wasm Colton RV here. Um, this is going to be the Keystone Passport uh, 2920 BH model. Um, so getting into this unit here, this is going to be a great bunkhouse model. Uh, again, it's by Keystone, so everything that they um, have comes back with their industry-leading three-year limited structural warranty. Um, so let's just get into this unit and uh, show you guys what it's about. Uh, so starting up here in the front, it's going to have your power tongue jack. So click it on, nice easy retract, easy up, easy down to get it hitched up to your vehicle. Um, it's going to come equipped with two 20-pound propane tanks and of course a uh, cover to go over it as well. Um, you also get a battery with the unit as well. Coming around over here, you're going to be taking a look at what is known as a uh, solar panel prepping. So if you're going to get a briefcase type solar paneling, uh, it's going to really assist with your battery charge. Uh, so the cool thing about Passport is even though that this model is going to be over 30 foot, it's the weight that makes it very appealing for folks. Um, the actual weight on this camper, you'd be looking at an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,920 pounds and a max gross vehicle weight of 7,200 pounds. Now that's pretty rare because most campers that are going to be this size are usually going to be six to seven, maybe even 8,000 pounds as far as dry weight. So that's what makes Passport one of the uh, awesome campers is just the lightweight aspect of it. Um, so if you want to take a look at the huge pass-through storage in here, plenty of room um, to fit all your camping goods, chairs, you know, wood, uh, cornhole boards. Um, and it also has a nice little motion light at the uh, other end there. So once you flick open that baggage door, that light's gonna come on easily for you. Um, city water and fresh water uh, fill are gonna be right here next to the baggage door, nice, easy. Um, this is gonna be a one slide model. So this is gonna be, when you see on the inside there, it's gonna be your dinette and your couch for the entertainment. Uh, one of the things that Passport is known for is their best in class storage. So a lot of their units have this side entry door here. So this actually gives you access to the bunkhouse room. But what's also cool about it is you can fold this up nice and easy. You can see how it's on the gas strut there. So it's perfect if you want to try to fit in some small bikes, um, chairs, you know, any type of cargo. So it gives you um, a good amount of space back here to store any of those larger items. A lot of campers have that. Uh, gonna be working with a 30 amp power service, which we got this guy plugged in so you guys can see all the lights on the inside there when we get there. Also comes equipped with an outside shower, hot and cold water, of course, and the applicable wand to go with it. And it, the guy just stores nice and easy in there and it can be locked. Swooping around the back here. Uh, if you're wondering, where am I gonna keep my sewer hose because I don't see a bumper? Well, that's exactly what this compartment down here is gonna be for. I'm gonna click it to the left to open it up and then pop this open. Your sewer hose will store nicely in here and then you'll click it to the right uh, once your hose is in there to keep it nice and locked. Uh, it does come with a spare tire. Um, Keystone, a lot of their products um, are gonna have what's known as Key TV. Um, so the importance of that is it really uh, makes it easier because it's uh, all over the airwaves connection for your cable, your satellite, your radio. So if you're trying to watch um, different programs on different TVs, you don't have to worry about all those running all those splitters and things of that nature. And it also really does reduce the amount of weight inside of a coach. And it makes it easy to troubleshoot as well too. One of the cool features about this guy is the whole outside kitchen setup here. So you're going to have a two uh, propane burner here on the top. It's connected with a hose and your LP Quick Connect is going to be down on the bottom there. Uh, it is equipped with a sink as well. Easy pop off piece too for when you're storing it. And of course this is going to be hot and cold water. And it is running with a nice little fridge as well which will pop open as well. So I got the awning mostly rolled out. So you can see that it does cover a decent amount of space. Probably still has a couple more inches, but due to this other one right here, um, can't have it all the way out. Um, and it does have the nice LED lights running on the underside of the awning. Uh, this model is also equipped with outside marine grade speakers. 
Um, so if you're trying to play some tunes out here, um, regardless if it's raining, things of that nature, uh, you're going to be absolutely fine to do that because that's what they're designed for. Um, so this model is also equipped with a black tank flush, which you're going to find over here. So you don't have to worry um, about doing any of that difficult stuff where you're going to run a hose into your bathroom or anything like that. Simple, easy port to clean out your septic system right here. Um, you got outlets out here as well. And then swooping around, oops, watch my head there, to the front. This thing is equipped with electric stabilizers as well. And then your control panel for both of those is going to be right here. So you got one switch for the front and then you have one switch for the back. All right, let's go take a look on it on the inside. So this guy is equipped with a screen door as well. And you got the nice little slide over panel here. Good if you have pets or you're trying to keep the insects out. So right when you walk in, you'll notice your control panel here. Um, this is going to operate um, your monitor panel for your tanks. Um, you're going to have your switches for your water heater, uh, for your awning, and of course your slide room, and then your light switches as well. And then this is going to be for your accent blue lighting, which you guys are going to see under the dinette system there. Um, a lot of counter space for this kitchen. Uh, you definitely have a lot of options. And of course, this comes with a sink cover as well. So when you're not using um, the sink, that will add to the counter space to it. And then if you notice, it's a nice deep seated stainless steel sink with the pull down faucet. So it makes it easy if you're trying to wash dishes. Um, your lights here are in the kitchen are gonna be independent. So you're gonna have the switch right there in the center for it. And then you also have an outlet up here too. You know, for the folks that need to plug in on the appliances, you know, coffee makers, waffle makers, you know, things of that nature. Um, you're equipped with your Furion three burner cooktop with your glass panel to give you that extra counter space. And it also has the cool blue accent lighting as well. And then you also have a oven in here too. Not the biggest, but definitely enough room to cook in there. Under the sink, you have a decent amount of storage. And then you also have these slide out pull out drawers on a drawer glide in here as well. And then of course your above storage gives you a good amount of room up here too. And completed with your microwave over the range light and fan as well too. Uh, taking a look at the fridge here, you're gonna be looking at a gas and electric fridge. So you do get a decent amount of space in there. And then of course your control panel on how you wanna operate your fridge, whether you're gonna do gas or propane. You guys notice too, you have a nice little vent here. No fan, but if you are looking to do some cooking or you're just trying to get some ventilation, easy clockwise turn to pop that vent open. Um, your main thermostat's going to be here, so that's going to activate your heat or your AC, whatever you want that to be. Uh, you'll set the corresponding temp and then your, either your furnace or your AC is going to kick on. So a nice digital gauge and of course you have fan options on there as well. Um, swooping into the bathroom real quick. You're going to have outlets in there. You're going to have another vent with a fan. Um, you're going to have a tub style type shower with a little dome skylight above. So if you're a little bit taller of a person, that extra couple of inches to that dome does really help out considerable. For a short person like me, I'll fit in there just fine. Um, but again, if you're taller, that definitely helps out a lot too. And then there is a nice little storage spot behind the vanity here. And then a little bit under the sink too. Also helps to get to your uh, pipes as well in case you have any, uh, you know, things that you need to check out under there. Um, focal part of this floor plan is going to be the bunk room here. So you're gonna be looking at four single style bunks, uh, two on both sides. This guy's just flipped up, I'll flip it back down. So once you get to wherever you're at, you can pull whatever cargo you wanna store in there down, flip the bed right down and you're back to your single style here. So you're gonna be able to fit, you know, four children back here, no problem. Sometimes even more pending the size. And then they're gonna have their own spot if they wanna have a TV, things of that nature. It's got all the corresponding connects up here at the top. 
And then they also have USB options too. They have tablets or phones or anything of that nature. And then you also have a decent amount of storage space for wardrobe and anything else that you want to bring um, on this underside here too. So whether you want to mount the TV to the back or you want it propped up here, you know, there's options. Uh, bed capacity for your top bunks, you're looking at 300 pounds. Um, and then you also got windows, both sides with shades. Of course, the emergency exit windows here. So in the event of an emergency, they can get out right here. Or the nice thing is too, you can also pop the door out as well. Now, I know a lot of people might be concerned about the door. Um, especially if you know you have younger children you can't lock that from the outside so if it is locked they won't be able to do anything on the inside here to pop it open All right, swooping around through here so you're gonna have a little bit of a wardrobe spot here and then your main circuit panel and all your fuses is gonna be located down below so any type of electrical issues things of that nature that's probably the first place you're gonna want to go look um, dinette's going to be your U-shaped, uh, so you can have a lot of folks sit around this table. And then of course, this also can convert to a bed as well. It'd be nothing more than just taking this tabletop, popping it off, taking the poles out, resting the table flush here on the extended wood, and then putting these couch cushions across. So you'd be able to easily sleep, you know, two people my size here, or even a couple more children. Uh, your lights above the dinette here. They're actually gonna have a dimmer switch, which is gonna be located on that wall over there. So you can actually adjust the brightness. And then these cool blue accent lighting are gonna be controlled by that control panel in the front that I was telling uh, you guys about earlier. So, but it gives it a little bit cool of a vibe with that blue color. Um, your couch here is gonna be a pull-out couch. So it's gonna be as simple as taking these cushions off popping the legs down like so and then sliding this back down and then you got yourself another bed and a more sleeping options here so this would easily be able to sleep a capacity of 10 no problem with all the different sleeping options between the dinette your pull-out couch here your master and then your four single style bunks in the back and then to convert it back nothing more than folding these legs back in putting the cushions back And just like that, it's good to go. All the shades in here are gonna be pulled down. So nothing more than this here. And then easy up. And then if you also notice too, Keystone's notori notorious for this with all their products. All their windows they try to make functional. Now by functional, I mean you can open them so you can have a nice breeze in here. So your both your windows here are open. They have screens. Um, most of the ones in the bunk room and then you got your window here and then even your two in the bedroom open as well too of course one's your emergency exit over there but again the point is it's nice to have all these windows not everybody wants to run their ac all the time so it's nice if you got a good breeze outside to let all that natural air on the inside here so taking a look at our entertainment system here this tv is going to be on a swivel mount reason why it's strapped you're going to want it that way when you're traveling but you unstrap it, pop it from the wall like so. So even if you're sitting on the dinette, this couch here, you're gonna be facing the TV. You're not gonna have to, you know, turn your neck, jerk your neck or anything like that because you have it facing you just like that. So even though it's not directly across, that swivel really does help in ensuring that you're gonna have a nice viewing picture. And then you're also gonna have your master control panel here for your radio. That's gonna be this guy down there. So that's gonna have Bluetooth options. You're gonna have USB options. Um, and then that's gonna run your speakers on the inside and the outside. And of course you can control whether you just want an inside, outside, or both. And then you get a remote for the TV and for the speaker system by itself. Uh, they also threw in a little bit of uh, USB chargers in there as well. And then they give you a little bit of storage spots. 
a couple extra outlets up in the top there and then a little bit of storage here down at the bottom as well so going into the bedroom here uh, you're going to be looking at a queen bed and then they have the two pocket doors so even if you want some privacy in here, you'll just slide the door like so on both sides. So that will keep this room enclosed and separate should you need that. And then under the bed here, lift that up. You got a whole storage system. You don't need to have anybody hold this open. It does have the nice gas struts here. And of course that is also independent from the pass-through storage as well. So you have extra storage options under there. And then you got your wardrobe on both sides. I'll uh, screw it out of the way here. Up top storage, two door pant, two doors. And then this is gonna look exactly the same as it does on the other side there. And then you do have options, USB and outlets down here and same on this side so whether you got phones ipads things of that nature options on both sides to plug all that in um, so the, one of the biggest selling features of this camper is not only the floor plan itself um, but it's the flooring that comes in this so one of the things um, that kind of separates uh, the passport from all the other makes out there is the subflooring level so what keystone did last year is they incorporated what's called a hyperdeck flooring or a composite flooring. So they developed this product, tested it um, for months before putting it in any of the campers. Basically what they developed is a floor that you're not gonna get a soft spot in. So this composite material is designed to retain almost no water. So when they were testing this, they had this product submerged in water for months and found it only had a 2% retention rate. It doesn't rot doesn't mold, anything like that. And that also helps keep the weight down of the camper as well, which is why this is a lighter camper is because you don't all have that heavy wood. Now, a lot of people might be worried about, you know, the structural aspect of it as far as, you know, weight and things like that. But during their testing process, they actually laid down a huge strip of the flooring in front of one of their factories and had workers, you know, piling over it for months and months and they didn't run into any issues at all. So that is a huge feature to a camper. One of the biggest things that, you know, folks find the longer that they're, they own a camper is that, you know, sometimes your floor develops a soft spot. But in this, Keystone kind of took that out of the equation with their hyperdeck flooring. And like I said, it also saves on weight as well too. Um, that pretty much wraps up this camper here. Um, like I said, it's an awesome floor plan. One of the bunkhouse models we have left over um, it's good for a lot of the tow vehicles out there. It's not as heavy as you're traditionally going to find. Um, and then I did miss one of the cabinets here too. Take a quick peek at that. This guy kind of gets away because it's when you first walk in the door, but you do have a little bit of extra space in there as well too. Um, but yeah, this, that kind of wraps up this camper. Um, so again, Wes from Colton RV and I look forward to seeing all you guys at the show. Thank you.